haven't you heard of uh, First Nolly TV? Home of Nollywood movies. Subscribe now. First Nolly TV. Don't touch that. Mwake ego. Mwake ego. Papa. Aha, come. Papa. I heard your stepmother pour your pot of soup away. Papa, she did not only pour the soup away, she also broke the pots. Papa. I have been keeping quiet in this house because of the things you told me. Because of the respect I have for you as my father. We all know how my mother died in this house. Yet I kept everything behind me. This woman had the guts to enter my late mother's kitchen and break the pot containing my soup. Okay, good. That's alright. That's alright. She is going to replace the pot and everything therein. Don't I worry. I will do that. Eh? I will not do that. You and your daughter cannot do anything. Good father! Did you even ask her what she told you that prompted me into breaking that pot? What? Did you? What will she say that will prompt you to break a pot of soup in my own ask house? Her. Ask her! Abomination! Ebo, eh? you have really touched the tail of a tiger. You have touched the tail of a tiger. Eta. It's not for this man. It's not for my father here. Hey. I would have chopped off your breast. Oh, man. You are trying me. Mm. I am not my mother. Hey. I am not my mother. Hey. And listen, if in the next two market days, mm. you did not replace that pot. Mm -hmm. Baba Chile. <laughs> as if she will. As if this heaven will go for that. As Go if she will cough. Go inside. You can't cough. Eh? She can cough. She cannot cough. She can cough. She cannot cough. In this house. She it cannot is, do anything. It is you that cannot do anything. She cannot do anything. It's alright. Me a give Let's wait. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You have drawn the plan. We will do it together. You cannot do anything. You will wait. Yes, I can. You cannot do anything. Anyway. You cannot do anything. Give me. No. You can't do anything. As far as she's concerned. Deal with her. As much as I as long as I as long as I as It's okay. That was exposing your ancestors the other day. Are you? You cannot talk. You were insulting my daughter and her mother in the public the other day. Who are you? Who do you think you are? Who are you? Let me not, not create a scene here right now. But I must warn you. Next time you try anything with me, Oh, my daughter, mm. Mm. you will not escape my wrath. Idiot. Ego, ego. Why are you a troublemaker?
Ona ama. Mama. Ona ama. Mama. I'm not seeing again. Ona ama, I'm not seeing you. Mama. What do you mean by you cannot see again? I'm not seeing you. Ona ama, who is here? Anyocha. Mama. Is here? Anyocha, eh? Hey. Ona ama, take me home. Take me. Ona ama, throw away that thing. Take me home. Throw it away. Take me home. Mama. Take me home. Hey. Hey. Mama. Mama, where are you? I. I cannot see. Hey. Oh, no, ma, let's go. No, ma. Leave me home. Leave hey, me. Hey. Where is the road? Is it? No, 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 no. Come this side. Come this side. No, ma. Hey. Oh, no, ma, I'm not seeing. Hey. I'm not seeing again. Hey. Oh, yeah, madam, yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah, come in. Hey. Oh, yeah, give it. No, no, ma, I cannot see. Get me home. Help me, little sister. That's all. You are happy, man. Of course. Hey. Okay, sister. Let's do it. Oh, no, ma. Oh, no, ma. Yes. I'm still not seeing you. No, I'm still not seeing you. Hey! Hello. Hello. Are we home? Yes, we're almost there. We're almost there. No, no, no. Hey! I'm still not seeing you. Hmm! 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 What happened to your mother? No, I'm not seeing you. Papa, huh? Papa, we went to the farm mm. and on our way she said she's not seeing again. I thought everything was a joke until everything turns out to be true. Nah. Papa, my mother has gone blind and this week. No, I'm not seeing you. Okay, go. I know she knows about it. If I hear that name from your mouth, thunder will strike you. Shh. Hey! Mm. Thunder or Ikoro, whatever you call it, will not strike her. You have done your threat. You have carried out your threat. Nay, remember she threatened me. She threatened me. She said she would deal with me. You have done it, Mama. You have done it, Mama. Whatever they call you. Mama, she said you had this issue on your way home. So how come Wakego is now responsible? Please, you should check what and what she must have committed. What's a wadra? You mean she is blind? Papa, she is blind. No, I cannot see you. I'm you not. You will see. Don't worry. You will see. You will see. Um, when I'm take her inside. Maybe she will see later. That is, if her nemesis is not after her. Take her inside. Mama, 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 Mama like this. See what Hmm. No, I will give. It's a wonder. We shall see. We shall see. Did you see how your mother and your sister cooked up allegation that I'm responsible for her blindness? Okay, go. We all know that she's lying. But what could have happened to her eyes? I saw it as maybe something got into her eyes and she would get over it. Someone that was led into this compound. Even if something got into her eyes, will it be her two eyes? <sighs> this is serious. Honestly, Uzo, please, I'm begging you. In as much as she's not behaving like a good mother to us, you need to see her. Check on her, please. I... I... I think I... Ugochi, how are you? I'm fine. Ugochi, this one you came to our house today. I'll go and kill one of my goods. <laughs> Haven't I been coming? You have not been coming. <laughs> my dear, my father's sickness does not allow me to do anything. But now that he's getting better and can walk around, I can now go out. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. You're welcome once again. Thank you. Who's your dinner? Hmm? I actually came to tell you to warn your mother. Do you know I saw her warning that strange girl that lives at Mbekude's hut earlier today? That girl has been doing strange things and nobody knows where she came from. Your mother needs to be careful. Are you sure it's not the said strange girl that got her blind? Yes. Blind? She got back home not quite long ago and was being led by my younger sister. 
But they didn't fight. I was watching them from my father's farm. So, how come the blindness? Uguchi. We all saw her. She walked in with her normal. My father was even here. She stopped and started saying that I made her blind. Oh. She was challenging that spirit. That spirit there that told Unoma that she and her mother are evil. Though she said the truth. I, I have to go and see her. Yes. This is my first time hearing this. Even Azukego has been scarce. Thought she has vanished. Vanished, you said? When I will be hearing all forms of noise in the hut every midnight. I, I think something is really wrong in this kingdom. Imagine, how can a strange person be occupying that hut and Igwe and his cabinet are keeping quiet? Someone is just blind. Maybe the next person should be dead. If they stop saying that, yeah? Stop saying that. In as much as nobody knows anything about that girl. She's a nice person and she stands for peace. She keeps preaching about peace <coughs> and harmony. She will not harm anybody. If she will not harm anybody. How come Unoma's mother's eyes got blinded oh. as soon as she saw her and shouted at her? Oh. Were you not there? Eh? Were you not there the day she told Unoma to stop dancing to her rhythm? She told her all the truth we know already. Though that girl behaves strange, but she's a nice person. You should tell that woman to stop terrorizing uh, 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 Kego. That woman is bad. I totally agree with you on that. At least for Kego to rest for her. But her tongue was not tied. She can still talk and disturb the whole neighborhood. Wait, wait, wait. So all what you guys are saying is the woman blindness is good, right? It's good. I do not know what you're talking about. Wait. I don't want to believe you think I can inflict harm on anyone. No. But some people said that Unoma's mother got blind after warning you along the road. And you, my friend, who is supposed to defend me behind, believed them. Azukego, that is why I came looking for you. Do you know how many times I have been here with Wogo? But we couldn't find you. Let me ask you, my friend. Are you responsible for the woman's loss of sight? I did ask you a question earlier, and you gave me no for an answer. Now let me ask you again. Do you believe them? Then let's forget about this issue. Maybe the gods are angry with the woman. And let me tell you one thing. Tell whoever that cares to listen that more harm will befall this land if they do not turn away from their evil ways.
Mama. Where are you going to? I'm going to the stream. Hey, wait. You mean you can actually pick up a port to go to the stream? Is that an insult or what? Hey, if you talk to my sister like that, I will squeeze that your useless foot. Look here. If you don't want to respect yourself, I'll bring down this firewood and break some of it on your body. So you can actually pick up this pot, go to the stream to fresh water like your mates do? Look at me and my sister. We're just coming from the bush to fresh our firewood. If you must listen to me, stop insulting Wakego. Stop insulting her. Even your father and your brother, stop insulting them. Your mother has gone blind. <laughs> right now, you need Wakego and your father for them to be able to take care of you. Stop this whole thing you're doing. Your mother cannot help you right now. She is helpless. She cannot. My advice for you is this. Drop your useless ego. And humble yourself. So your family can be in peace. I've said my own. He that has ears, let him hear. Yaka. My name is Azo Kaigo. I am here to see Igwe Obala. Is the king aware you will be here? No. I'm here to discuss something important with him. The king will be with you soon. Thank you. Where is the young woman that is looking for me? She's standing before the train, Your Majesty. Uh, Your Majesty. Are you the one looking for me? Yes, Your Majesty. Come, come. Thank you. You are that strange girl that defies our law. Sleeping where everybody is forbidden to enter. I've sent my guard severally to fetch you, but you keep evading them. Are you not aware that that place is forbidden for both human and animals? Your Majesty, the most important thing is that I am here. I came on my own. Besides, no one told me that I have become the most wanted person in this kingdom. Where did you get your powers? A lot has been said about you. You dance, sing, vanishes and returns. And besides, you have been accused of being responsible for Egwe's blindness. Who are you? Your Majesty, I am human. Or are you seeing an animal in front of you? <laughs> Young woman. Are you aware you are standing before Igubala? The one who devours when life is sweetest. Don't step on my toes. I can never step on your toes, your majesty. I came on my own volition. And my skin is not the type anyone can chew raw. Uh, are you daring me? 
You do not have such heart anymore, Your Majesty. I came to your palace because of your good deeds. You carry everyone along. You must do everything within your powers to leave a good legacy before your exit. And you must make sure your son succeeds you. Are you a soothsayer? Your Majesty, do you know Mweke would do very well? Uh, of course, who doesn't know her? She died in my reign. You killed her? Me? How dare you accuse me of killing such a harmless innocent widow? An innocent woman was killed in this kingdom. And her spirit has not rested. I will see you again, Your Majesty. That means something is wrong somewhere. If she can boldly stand before you and say all this you mentioned to me, I am afraid. I'm worried too. But uh, could it be she is a reincarnate of Mwekude? A woman that died years ago and her heart was restricted from people. Even if anybody should live in that heart, it shouldn't be that great old girl. But Mwekude sang in her days and this one, this girl, also sings. What's really happened? I've heard so much about this woman. Tell me, what is the mystery surrounding her person? Um, when we were young, we used to see this old woman. We used to sing in her heart. And as little children would pull around her heart while enjoying her sonorous voice.
loved her because of her sons. She will sing in the farm. She will sing in the stream. Even in uh, uh, market, she used to sing. She will sing to the extent that anytime she takes her onubu to the market to sell, before you know it, it is sold off. What about her husband and children? We can marry the man from Amafo called Ude. And that is why people called her Mwekude. She was barren, childless. Trouble started when the husband took another wife. Her brothers came and took her away to their own house and they erected a hut for her. But she started having problem with the brother's wife, which led to her death. I don't want to see you in my farm again, old witch. You left your husband's house and came here to start dragging my land with me. Listen, you don't have any inheritance here. Go to your husband's village and look for one. Okauma. Okauma. You are looking for my trouble. It is my father's land. And I must cultivate on anyone I like. Stop coming to my heart to tell me to leave my father's land. I came here and stayed on my own and I don't beg anyone for food. I don't go to people's houses to beg for food. And I have never come to you and said you should give me food either. Just a portion where I will be sowing things. I sell my onubu and I am fine with that. Who can want take other lands? But you see that of my own late mothers. You don't try it. Leave it for me. Leave it for me before it generates to a bigger problem. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Is it because I left you to be using that bitter leaf plantation? Henceforth, you won't ever go there or touch the bitter leaf again. Try it and see. Oh, really? Seems you are running mad. I think something is wrong with you. <laughs> That's my own mother's plantation. I sew it. Oh, yes. I sew it before I got married. Oh, is it because I got married and my only brother married you that you think you have the authority, the right to take over my late mother's properties? You lied. Now, listen. If you try me, you are gone. You know my name for easy. If what? If what? Now listen, shut up and then shut up. Now get up. Okay, Awa. Get out of my company. I'm not going anywhere. Then look where I go. I am not going anywhere. Go back to your husband's house. Now I'm not going anywhere. Even when you were with me, but here. Tell me what I'm going to do. I am here and this is my husband's house. He said, you're not going to Some of these incidents happened before my very eyes. Because her heart is not even far away from here. So Okanwa is Mbeke's brother's wife? Yes. Okanwa is Okonkwa's wife. Who is Mbeke's brother? He died early. He fell from a tree. And after all efforts to revive him, he died. It was then that Okanwa started making trouble with Mbeke. Okanwa was not a good woman because I used to watch my father school her in this very palace and she would go back to continue fomenting trouble. Okanwa we are talking about is the mother of Egiwe, Ichie Udeka's second wife. My land is now blind. Oh, now I know where her stubborn attitude came from. A snake, they say, must give birth to something very long. After the death of my father, I was crowned the king. 
I was sitting in my throne. Few months after I was crowned king, I watched as people dragged Mbekude to my heart. Shut up, you are a criminal. Criminal. What happened? Is this not Mbeku Day? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she was caught stealing in my fa- Igwe, I have been trying to find out the person that has been taking away my farm product. Until right. this morning, this very morning, Igwe, I caught her red-handed stealing my farm product. Igwe, Agebuyebu, she's a thief. Yes, criminal. Eberima. Igwe, Nam. Nam. I am a mother. And everybody knows how I always suffer to pick my bitter leaf <laughs> at this my old age so I can eat. Upe. I went to the bush to cut some leaves for my she goat that gave birth. That is what I was doing, oh one is out here no more and then he saw me and started shouting that I am a thief. I didn't do it. Igwe, she is a thief. You must punish her. Mom! Igwe, punish her! Oh no, she go That is how she has been claiming everything in my husband's house. Yes! Both Britannia, both corn, both plantain, everything! Criminal. Today, the cause of this land have caught you. Yes. Yes. Onyoli, Ufu. Wait. Are you people? Sure of what you are choosing in Mbeku Day of. Igwe, we saw her with the car. And she must die. Igwe, she must pay for her sin. Yes, that's yes. Right. Igwe, she must pay. I did not steal. Igwe, I did not steal. I did not steal. I did not steal. I did not steal. Igwe, make a move. Youths of this land. Igwe, I will advise you all to go. And also let her go. I will speak with my cabinet members and get back to you. Igwe, your father was a very good man. Very, very good man. Yes. He listens to his subjects. Yes. We have a law in this community that whoever that is caught stealing must be stoned to death. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. She must pay. Igwe, this witch. This witch here. Yeah. Oh, yes. Have the God to steal from my sweat. Igwe, she must be punished. I can be able. Mom, she's a criminal. She's lying. He's lying on the last day, Igwe. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying on the last day. He's lying on the last day. Now listen. This is the first case that is coming to me as the king of this land. Allow me handle it with my cabinet. Mbeke here is not running away. She will run no. Okay, Bafu. She will run no. That man will wash up. Switch it here. She will run. Then I wash off my hands of this case. My cabinet will not be part of it. My family will never be part of it. I wash off my hands from your decisions. Take my advice. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I won it! Huh? Stand, Stand up! up. Mm. Let's go! Like, Stand, Stand up, my friend! Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You will let the blood be on you! Haven't you heard of First Nolly TV? Home of Nollywood movies. Subscribe now. First Nolly TV. Good time.